Red Fly Project, Preserving Serious and Pulses. Those are the best. You see how they go there. Our pulses and serious. Serious belong to the grass family. And examples of cereals we have maize, wheat, rice, and millet. We can store them in in airtight containers, store in uh, storage bags. We can store them even in uh, in granaries. But before we do that, we have to ensure that they are clean, they are well dry, they don't have pests, so that we you can store them. That is a storage bag. We can see the traditional granary, and that is the modern granary. Now, that's, that is a modern equipment for storage. Now you can see those one. They are putting there the modern granary made of mud. Now, then that is a storage. We should store them for future use. You can see that is a modern also metallic uh, storage, and then. Uh, this is the project that we're supposed to do. We preserve them that we can use them in a later date. So in this project, we're going to look at two things, how to preserve using the ash and also airtight container, which you can copy. So this is how you're going to do it. Now that, that one I have preserved, you can see. Now get to con get containers which are clean and they be wiped and should be dry. Those containers without any label remove the label and you make sure that the containers are clean so when you have the containers ensure that th there's no moisture in them then you put your grains you put your grains you can put it at the pulses the pulses have got pods examples of beans green crumbs etc now and make sure that it is compact so you can so you can do this to make them compact make the rice or the grains or the pulses compact and when it is compact uh, you can take the foil this, that, is a, that is a foil then you fix it there nicely then you can look for a cotton piece of cotton fix it there then take a match then burn that to get rid of the air which was there then you can get the lid and wash that and close it then that is how you can do it so you can also after that get a tip tie it and you can now it is now ready to be stored those grains they can stay for up to four and for up to five years four to five years that is a storage that we're talking about the storage we're talking about that is how to do that project of storage you can now store them and make sure that there is no air in our bottle so such that the pest will not leave such that they'll be okay after all those years we can use them on a later date so that is a project that you're supposed to do thank you thank you so keep on subscribing for more projects in the coming years and more content and learning videos that we keep on uploading here for you and for the learners and the teachers can also subscribe and refer learners to this channel uh, the next one is to use ash we're going to use ash in this in the next experiment so what i'm supposed to do we're taking ash ah, that is now the storage bag the storage bag it is commercial you see before you store them you should make sure that they are clean they are they are they don't have paste they are dried and now and there and the and the bags don't have holes so air can't get in or get out so those are the bags they are called storage bags then put and then you tie on top nicely nicely you tie on top such that no air yeah? you tie nicely these are the storage bags then you tie one more time they are called the storage bags you can get them from shop this one is now for top. this is a granary we talked this is a granary that is a traditional granary and that is our modern granary for those who know who don't know how a granary looks like
when using the ash uh, you ensure that you put a layer of series of the passes then you add uh, ash after adding you keep on adding a layer then ash a layer and then the ash on top of that layer so when you keep on doing it that way when it is filled up or when it is full you will still add another layer another layer of ash on top that is how you are supposed to store using the ash when you need to use them or to cook you need to take your cereals like then you sieve them and get you sieve the ash and get the the cereals that is how you are supposed to do keep on subscribing and liking and sharing to more share share share, share to your friends subscribe and like share subscribe and like